So our null hypothesis is that the mean number of hours in company A is the same as the mean number of hours in company B. And we can write this using our notation as mu sub A equals mu sub B. Or we can say the difference is zero. Mu sub A minus mu sub B equals zero. And the alternative hypothesis is that the mean number of hours in company A is fewer than or less than the mean number of hours in company B. So we can say mu sub A is less than mu sub B. Now part C, nothing to do here. We're going to choose the same level of significance for the test and we're just going to make it 0 0.05. So alpha is 0 0.05. E-value approach. And we typically use the calculator or a computer to crunch this up. So step one is press stat and scroll to test and select number four, the two sample t-test. Step two, if you have the raw data, and we do, and you already should have it in there from a previous exercise, you put it into L1 and L2, you select data from the input line. List one is L1, list two, L2. Frequency one and frequency two are both one. We choose mu one as less than mu two. We always select um, no for the pooled and select calculate. And now just note that if you are given the summary stats, you, instead of selecting data for that input line, you're going to select stats and just put in the summary stats. So step three, once you press calculate, the calculator is going to display the p-value, the test statistic, along with other summary statistics. So our test statistic, again, negative 1.99, p-value 0 0.03, and so on. Notice our degrees of freedom here is 14.7. They use a much more complicated formula for computing degrees of freedom than the one that was shown earlier. So again, our p-value 0.033. So since the p-value of 0.03 is less than our alpha 0.05, there is enough evidence to conclude that the employees in company A work fewer hours than employees in company B. So what does that p-value mean? Again, as we've seen earlier in this course, we would expect to see a difference this large, a difference of a, you know, close to about eight hours in about three out of every 100 samples if there was actually no difference, if HO were actually true. So we're going to reject HO.